Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. All right, I've got a very important video for you today. All right, and this is going to be on using a metronome and how to do it. And this is on any instrument, okay? So <clears throat> don't think that this only relates to banjo or dulcimer or anything like that. It's any instrument, okay? First of all, the metronome is very important in our learning, okay? And you say, why? I hate that thing. Okay. A lot of people have this hate relationship with the metronome. So uh, first thing you need to do is just throw that out the window. You have to have it. Okay, it's crucial. All right. Now, whether it's a metronome that clicks at you or whether it's a metronome up here or a drum set, drum noises, something like that, um, we have to use it because uh, if our timing is off, let's say we're going to go play a song. And we play through the song and our timing constantly changes. So one, one little section we're playing 75 beats per minute. Now we're not paying attention to that, but we're playing that, okay? We're playing that song along nice and smooth. Then we come to a harder section and we slow it down to 60 beats per minute. Now, again, I'm just throwing a number out there, but the song will slow down as we play it. Then we get to our favorite section again and we speed up and then we slow down. Okay. So when that happens, you don't have a good flow of your song. Okay. And things that become impossible now when you're doing this is it's impossible for someone to play along with you. They cannot do it. If you're speeding up, slowing down, they can't play along with you. So if you ever want to learn to play along with other people, you have to do this. You have to put this work in and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right here, right now. Okay. So don't worry about it. If you've tried it before and you're frustrated, pick it back up. You can do this. I promise. Okay. We're going to take it real slow and we'll go through it. Um, now, another thing you won't be able to do if you're doing this slow, up, slow down, speed up kind of thing is you'll never be able to play along with other musicians. Remember I just said they won't be able to play along with you. Well, the opposite is true. You won't be able to play along with recordings or other people. So it, it's something that you have to do. Okay, reason why I'm doing these videos like this lately is because um, I'm doing the, the memorization videos, the rhythm videos, the chord videos. Uh, and now the metronome videos is because I took a patron poll and my patrons, these are the things they wanted to, you know, for me to address. So that's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that everybody understands these things are critical and these are the things that you guys really wanted to see. So that's what I'm concentrating on right now. All right. So if you're, uh, if you want to be heard, you can head on over to Patreon and join. For just five bucks a month, you get all my tabs. You get to take part in all my polls and um, back. You get backing tracks, tabs, all that stuff on all instruments. Um, all right, so let's get into this video. What you're gonna need is a metronome. Um, you can have one of those little devices that's a metronome that you buy that just clicks at you and you spin a little dial on it. I'll put a picture up of it somewhere. Or if you have a phone or a tablet or something like that where you can get access to the App Store, you can get something like this. And this is free. And uh, the one I like to use is called Pro Metronome. And it's got a lot of features. But um, you need to get some sort of a metronome that will make noise at you. Okay? Holding that up to the microphone. All right? So, um... For the purposes of, the, of this, we can just use mine right here, but you do need to get one of these. Now, the things in this video, uh, one thing that in this video that's going to help you a lot is the pause button, okay? So if you're having trouble with a metronome and you go through these exercises with me, hit that pause. Take your time. You need to learn this. We're not going to gloss over this and just hurry through it, okay? Take your time and do this. We don't even have an instrument yet, okay? That's later. <laughs> We've got to understand the metronome first. Okay, so I have this set for four, four time, which is the most 
standard time signature you're going to run into. Okay, so that means the majority of your songs are going to be this. Does that mean all? No, but it means the majority. And this is the easiest one to figure out. Okay, because there's four beats per measure. Okay, now if you don't read tab or anything like that, don't worry about that. You'll understand this in a minute. Um, but okay, so I have this set to 60 beats per minute. That's a nice slow tempo. So that means it's going to tick 60 times in one minute. All right. Um, so we're going to be counting in fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're never going to count uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not going to count like that. We're going to count one, two, three, four. Okay? So all you have to do is be able to count four. All right? You can do this. All right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is set it at that nice slow tick of 60 beats per minute. And I have this set so that it's going to tick the same. There's not going to be a different sound for beat one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to, to going, to tapping for us, and we're going to talk. All right, so this is our first exercise. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to just start counting along with me. Okay, and a good thing to do is to try and get a foot, whichever one you want, tapping up and down along with your counting okay or okay so you can do your foot or you can just take your hand and put it on your lap I'm just doing it right here just to show you but you can just put it on your knee and tap along with the beat okay so we want a nice consistent we want to be able to consistently tap along with the beat and count along with the beat okay if if you don't yeah, that's what we're going to start doing. Okay, so here we go. We'll do that for a little bit. Okay. Now, start getting accustomed to that. You can bob your head a little bit. And then we're going to start counting. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. Now you'll notice I stopped talking in the middle of that and I just kept tapping my foot, tapping my fingers. Just getting into that beat, okay? One thing you want to watch out for is you want to make sure that you're not speeding up or slowing down. You're not anticipating the tick. You're not going before the tick, you know. Um, so this would be before the tick, all right? Let's see if I can do this. Here's with the tick. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to try to get ahead of the tick. One, two, three, four. I'm not with the tick at all, right? That was way ahead. Let's see if I can get it a little closer but still be ahead. This is difficult. I'm just slightly ahead of that tick. I need to be saying my one, two, three, four. Right on the tick, okay? All right, now, you need to do this a few times. Start just getting accustomed to that. This is the easy one. This is the first one we start with, okay? So you just want to start talking with it and then get quiet and don't talk, t talk with it, but just let that tick keep happening and stay with it all right get your head bobbing now another thing you can do if you don't like ticks here's another way you can do it um this one lets me select 
the bead I want. So I can go over to here to um, this one. And it's the voice that will count for me. So instead of me, the ticks, one, two, three, it'll four, count for me. One, two. So you can use three, either one of these you four, like. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But you want to get used to that ticking or that. All right. So whether it's counting or ticking does not matter one little iota, okay? Don't worry about that. We're just getting used to it, all right? So if this one, is better for you. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, I'm only putting one, my hand up here so you can two, see it, all right? Three, four. Normally we're going to just be tapping our foot. Two, three, four. One. Or hitting two, our leg, okay? Three, four. One. We want to just two, really get three, in tune four, with that beat. One. Two, three, four. Say along with it. Two, three, four. One. Now, remember how I said this was the easy one, and that's because we're doing something on every beat, and we have nothing in between the beats, okay? All right, so um, now what we want to do is we want to put an additional note in there an additional it's not a beat it's in between the two beats okay and we're gonna talk through it and call it and all right instead of us saying our one two three four with our four beats we're gonna add things in between the beats okay so we're gonna just add the word and that's all we're gonna keep rocking along with our steady beat Okay, and but instead of just saying one, two, three, four, we're gonna say one and two and three and four and. So right now, I just want you to start doing this, okay? And don't worry about feeling silly. This is just gonna help you, okay? So our up is gonna be our and, and our down is gonna be our beat. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna establish our beat, okay? We're just gonna chop it. Okay, you can you, you if you're right-handed do it like this. Okay, um, but so let me get this back on and I'm gonna put it back on the ticks I'm not gonna put it on the counts right now because we but one, if you like two, the counts better three, four, Leave it there. One, it's fine. Okay uh, There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it with the ticks All right, so what we need to do is first establish our beat, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow it down a little bit more even. Okay? So let's go to 50 instead of 60. Be a little slower. Okay? So we can really tell with our and. Okay? Alright. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Get that beat established. Okay. Once the beat is established, we're just gonna stop it for a second. Once we've established that beat, we're gonna when we come to the top, we're gonna say and one and two. Just think of it as an arm, you know, like one and two, or your clock, right? Your pendulum. Okay. It's only gonna it's only going so far. It's not going way up here. That would mess up our timing. We want it to be the exact one and two and three and four and. So let's try this for a second without the metronome, okay? One, two, three, four. Let's just establish that beat first. Two, three, four. Then we're going to add the and. Two, three, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so there's gonna be an and in between every beat all right so now let's try it 
Okay. So once we've got our beat established, we know how high our hand needs to go up to come back down, right? And then we start talking. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and look at my head and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and we can use use what you got here okay you can sit here and one and two and three and four and we're just building upon that first one okay one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and I want you to do this okay I want you to take some time and do this tap on take a pencil tap it on the desk tap your foot if you don't want to bother your family put some headphones on okay and just tap your foot while you're watching TV while you're doing anything just be doing that we want to get this clock going in our head okay now we're not getting an instrument yet okay don't worry about that that'll come all right so the first thing we do is we just do the one two Now, um, other things you can do is go da, 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 da. Okay? Doesn't matter what you say. Anything you want. Pickles, 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 pickles. Whatever. Anything. Cat, dog, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get that beat into your soul, okay? All right. Now, after you've done this a little bit, you, you feel like you, you understand these ticks and what they're doing, okay? Boom. 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 After you do this, I still don't want you to get your instrument yet. Now, I want you to do a little bit of homework on your own. I want you to get on YouTube somewhere and listen to a song. I don't care what song it is, what instrument, what anything. Uh, easier things are going to be things like nursery rhymes because they're usually sort of slow. Um, but I want you to get a song and see if you can apply this one, two, three, four to it. Okay? Now, you may run into some different timings, okay? Remember how I said there's different timings? 4-4 four, four time is very standard and common, but it's not, there's lots of other timings too, but the most common is that 4-4 four, four time, okay? So, if right away you feel like it might be different, go to a different song. And yes, this might be a little bit difficult. I want to challenge you, okay? Um, and I'm not going to tell you a particular song, okay? Um, I want you to just get something that you like to listen to, okay? And if you're Irish, this is not going to work for you. Because you guys don't use a lot of 4-4 four, four time. You use a lot of that 6-8 and all them other ones, okay? So, um... Use maybe an American song or something like <laughs> something like that. Um, good old country songs are oftentimes in 4-4 time. A lot of old time songs are in 4-4 time. Um, so here you're going to see mostly 4-4 time or waltz time, which is 3-4 time. And that beat, it's 3-4 time. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. Da 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 da. Okay, so 
I want you to turn that music on and first determine if you're thinking that you're even in 4-4 four, four time, okay? Chances are you probably are, but I want you to think about that for a minute. You've been practicing this. Two, two, two. You've been practicing this. So I want you to listen to that song and see if you can figure out if it's in 4-4 four, four time or not. All right? And yeah, that's a little bit of homework, and it has nothing to do with banjo or dulcimer. So what? It's teaching you about timing, okay? So over time, we're going to want to learn how to recognize when a song is not in our standard 4-4 four, four time, okay? All right. And that metronome, solidifying that into you, is going to help you with this, all right? Okay. So after you've done that, you've maybe listen to a couple songs and tap your foot to it and if you're doing a waltz if there's a waltz that's playing this one two three four is it's just not gonna fit it's not gonna work out all right so songs are written and played at all different tempos beats per minute right they're played at all different tempos but they're all gonna be the same thing okay if they're in 4-4 four, four time now this is a hundred beats per minute get your head to tap it. one two three four it's faster of course but we've got our one two three four okay so we can Apply this at any speed. Now what I want to do is take you back to 50. We're going to do 60 again. All right. Now remember where I said that and? That's an eighth note. So these are quarter notes what we're using right now. Now there's another way to use a metronome. There's lots more ways, but I'm only going to cover this where a beat is a tick. Okay? When you get faster and things of that nature, then you work on every other beat's a tick. But don't don't get afraid of that yet. Don't think about that yet. We're just working right here on this four beats, four ticks. All right, one, two, three, four. Now, we worked on that and. We're going to work on that and again, but it's going to be a little bit different. The and is not going to be between every single beat, okay? We're going to do something here that is often called and I don't like using it this term but um, bum ditty okay um, use it if you want okay other terms for it are boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka bum ditty bum ditty bum ditty I don't know if you recognized it or not but let's take that word boom chick up well we've got a Longer word, a longer word, and a real short one, right? Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. Bum, dit, e. Same thing. We've got a longer word, longer word, shorter word. This is our timing happening right in front of us, okay? So the bum, dit are on your ticks. Bum, dit. The e is the and, okay? Now, if that just blew your mind, just relax. Go back to your and. But all it is is one, two, and. Okay? So the boom, chuck, a boom, chuck, a bit, you know, boom, chuck, or bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, boom, chuck, a boom, chuck, a. Okay? That's all we're doing there. We're doing the and. All right? but we're not doing it in between every beat, okay? We're selecting two times to do it. 
okay? So it would be one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and, okay? So we're gonna do that now, all right? And you're gonna see once we grab our banjo or our dulcimer that this rhythm is really great. This rhythm is what you can use for almost everything you do if you want. And it sounds really nice, okay? So let's get it taken again. And let's talk through our one, two, three, four. Because we're going to build on it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to add in an and on every beat, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay now we're going to be selective about our and okay we're only going to do it after the two and after the four okay pause it if you need to go back one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three four and one two and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. And what's happening the whole time we're doing any of this? Well, I'm bobbing my head. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. But my foot is keeping that time. It's keeping that tap. Now, some of this is like walking and chewing gum, okay? It's just, it's going to take your brain a minute to... To be able to do this once you get uh, fumbled up there go back go back to your if you're in the middle of doing your one two and three four and practice okay if you're in the middle of that and oh oh crud I, I fumbled that up back up let it keep ticking okay I'm gonna simulate that for you right now here we go one two and three four and one and three. Oh no, okay. Let's just get back on the beat. And then we start talking about it. Just with our one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we try to add the and in. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Do this as many times as you need to, okay? This is not a race, nothing like that. Do this as many times as you need to, okay? Uh, until you get that good steady one, two, and three, four, and one. Now, I want you to take it off of the metronome again and go back to that song. It can be the same song. Give me a different song, whatever. Go back to that song and do the same thing. Get on there and go, First, get the one, two, three, four. Then get your one and two and three and four. Then get your one, two and three, four and. Okay. Now, if any of this is confusing to you, just rewind the tape here. Okay. Go back to the video. Start over. Take this slow. Okay. We want you to just start getting that rhythm. Okay. Because this one, two and three, four and is big okay this is what the claw hammer stroke is this is what my favorite thing to do on the dulcimer is boom 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 okay um, and a claw hammer stroke is exactly that one two and okay uh, that little thumb is your and so alright I don't want to make this video any longer but I want you to go through this multiple times here, okay? We're just familiarizing ourselves with the metronome. I will put the name of this metronome down below. It is free to get. I don't get anything for you getting it or anything like that. It's a good thing to have. And um, you just have to sort of figure out how to use it. It's not too difficult, but it does take a minute to figure it out. Um, and you can use anything... YouTube has a lot of good metronomes. You just type in 60 BPM metronome and you'll get that wood metronome that comes up that's just got the thing going like this. That's great too. 
anything you can use, anything you want, it'll just help. You just want to get that rhythm, get that timing going, the ticks. All right? All right, that's been the first metronome video, okay? Um, I guess metronome 101, something like that, okay? This is, um, I hope, getting you not as afraid or mad at this metronome, okay? We want it to be our friend because it's going to set our internal clock, okay? And you don't automatically have this clock, okay? It's something you have to learn and acquire, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.